this final example here, it was a question from one of the viewers of the channel. And it's a similar situation where we have a set of data that we want to import with Power Query. So I have it here, but let's imagine it was on a separate file somewhere else. And we have a lookup table. And then we, we get product references, product IDs with the quantities, and we want to find the price for each product. The difference can already see that some of these references are just composed of digit characters. So Excel interprets them as numbers. I have it set up as general, so it's, I'm not defining a specific data type here. And others have letters. So the minute we enter a non-numeric character, automatically it becomes text. Okay. And same thing here. This is the list of unique product references. The challenge here that the person was asking me was, okay, I want to load this data to my Excel file with Power Query, and then I want to do some lookups into my lookup table and bring some extra information. So let's do that. So data uh, from table slash range. My table has headers, that's correct, okay. And Power Query already went ahead as usual. Let's delete that. So what do we need to do here? Of course, if we have digits and letters, alphanumeric product codes, I would go here and set this as text. I don't think it's a lot of, uh, uh, it's difficult to decide that. And in here, quantities, let's assume the quantities are whole numbers every all the time in this case. So close and load to, and I'm going to load this to an existing worksheet. Okay, existing worksheet, let's put it here. Okay, and the challenge this person was telling me about was that now if we want to VLOOK up this in there to second column and then exact match as a zero. Okay, there we go. So it does not work. If we if we bring this as a text, it does not work for some of the cells, right? Because these here are stored in Excel or defined in Excel as numbers. But of course, if we go to the query and say, okay, so I'm going to change that column to number. Let's do this to whole number. It doesn't make sense, but let's just try that. Replace the current. Of course, we get all these errors here because of that uh, letter that we have in the code, the product code reference. And of course, if we go close and load, these cells come empty because of errors. We see that we have errors in here in our query. And now the formula works for these ones and does not work here. Okay, so that doesn't work either. So what about if I don't define the data type for any of the columns and I leave it as any? So let Power Query and Excel decide what, what they want to do with it. Close and load. This actually works. So in this case, some products are coming as numbers, others are coming as text because I didn't choose a particular data type. And the same thing happens here in our lookup table, right? And in the end, one data type in here in the Power Query table matches exactly what we have in our lookup table and it works. But despite this working well, I would not recommend this. We could do different ways. One could be, like I don't think it's a good practice to, do, to leave data types not defined. We could come here and say, this is text. Okay, close and load. That doesn't work there, that's fine uh, for now. And come here and use that technique. Let's see if it helps us. So data here, text to columns and next, next. Let's say 
let's tell Excel, these cells need to be seen as text. Finish, okay. So now it works. So that would be one way. Another way could be instead of, let me go and do, instead of doing the VLOOKUP using formulas after the table is uh, loaded, we could come here, delete this, and use the merging feature inside Power Query to bring this information over. So for that, let's call this query here, rename. So let's call this alphanumeric data. Let's load our lookup table to Power Query. So this could be another option of solving the problem, data from table slash range, my table has headers, okay. And let's define the data types correctly. So here, product, let's put this as text. Price, let's put this as, could be currency. And okay. And let's close and load to, since I already have my table there, I don't need to load it again, so only create connection, okay? I, in fact, I could have given this a better name. Let's just rename this as product lookup, okay? And now we can go back to that alphanumeric and say, okay, load the data from the source, and after you loaded the data, we set the first column as text. The quantities will be whole numbers. And now we can merge. So merge queries here at home in the home tab. So alphanumeric is the current uh, query that we have. And let's merge this with query product lookup, okay? And now we need to match the columns that are related in the two tables. And we want to say product column here corresponds to the same type of information as product column there. They happen to have the same name, the two columns, but it doesn't have to. We can relate, for example, one could be product ID and the other product or product code. We just need to highlight which column matches the other column on the other table, the second table, okay? Uh, what kind of um, merge you want to do is the left outers, say, okay. And now we get a column with a table inside each cell that brings us all the matches found for each one of the product codes. We don't need to worry about that. We just need to come here and expand, not aggregate. We want to expand. So uh, let's choose, I just want to expand the price because the product, I already have it here, right? And I don't need to use the original column name as prefix. So let's click OK. And now we have the same result we would have if we would use the VLOOKUP formula. So close and load. And now we have our results here. We could try, let's say, for example, I have a new product, X8 there, $50. And let's say I sold 10 units of that product. So if I come here, right click, refresh, there we go. We have 10 units, picking up the price for each unit. And if we happen to need the total amount, we could calculate it here. Although for big sets of data, we should avoid calculated columns. But uh, if you want to do that and it doesn't hurt in your case, we can come here and say add column, a custom column, where we multiply, let's say, total. That would be the name of the new column. And the total could be the quantity times, I just need, I just need to double click there, the price. Okay. And it builds the formula for me there, the function. And now we have the results there, okay. Close and load. 
and now I would have my calculations there. And But you see, uh, the thing here is that I still have the data types not defined on my lookup table. I don't have the data types properly defined on my data, but during the process of transforming both the data from the source and loading my lookup table with Power Query using these two queries, during that process, I define the data types that I want for each one of the columns. And then because I chose that the product would have type text in both queries, the alphanumeric and the XLOOKUP, the product lookup query, then when I do the merge, it's possible to find the information related to uh, one product in the lookup table.